What's going on, people? And welcome to my first video of 2021. We are here. We made it. Just about. Yo, I caught COVID, man. Your boy caught that COVID. I've been in bed since, like, Boxing Day. Sick. This shit is serious. <laughs> I don't wish that shit on anyone. Man, it's like man flu times, like 20, bro. I'm telling you. But I'm back. And as you can see, I'm in Logic. You guys have been asking for it, so I'm, I'm, I'm delivering a little UK Wave tutorial in Logic Pro. Um, so let's take a listen to what we got here. They said Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill. She looked at my wrist and then the ice it gave her chills. Me and bro went Harvey and we spent a couple bills. They say Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill. All right, cool. So now I actually recorded this video already. Um, I initially was going to do just like a mix from scratch and just, just show you how I'd mix it from the beginning. But I watched the video back and it was a little bit boring, a little bit long winded. Me trying to navigate logic, which I don't use. I don't think it was very interesting. So I've gone back to the more traditional style. Now, here's what I've got. So let's start muting some plugins here. Bam, 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 bam. If there's a quicker way to do this, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments because, you know, I know nothing, nothing about logic, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, cool. So we're starting off with the pitch corrector. Um, pitch correction, should I say. Um, just the logic stock pitch correction. Nothing fancy here. And then we're moving over. And I want to put this little thing on as well. So I ain't got bare plugins open. All right, so I didn't record this actual um, vocal. This was sent in to me. Um, so there was a lot of cleanup I needed to do. Um, I, I believe, I think that the vocalist might have been a little bit too close to the microphone. So I had to do a lot of cleanup around these lows and low mids. Um, I was getting a lot of plosives. I was getting a lot of rumble in the voice. Um, so that's what we're doing here first with this EQ. Uh, we're scooping out loads at 100. And a little we've got a little cut here at 200 as well. Well, 240. Um, and then a little roll off here. They say Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill. She looked at my wrist. So as you can hear, that just like tightens up the bottom end. It gets rid of all of that kind of rumble, that muddy sound that was there before. We also did a little cut here at uh, 1.9k and another one at 4k. But you know we're doing we're doing minor cuts here, 1.5 decibels. That's quite big to be fair. But this this frequency here, let me let me show you what this sounds like. They say Prada put five racks in his grill He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill She looked at my wrist and then the ice it gave So can you hear that? Just that sharp, kind of like annoying tone We had to get that out of here um, And to help with uh, the nature of this vocal So there was a lot of plosives Especially when um, he says Prada put, I think it was they say Prada put five racks. So it doesn't sound too bad now. Uh, what you missed in the last video is I did a little clip gain here. So I cut the P. Can you see this here? I cut that and I clip gained it. I turned it down because the P was really, really prominent. Um, it's called a plosive. And that's when the vocalist is too close to the mic or the pop shield is too close to the mic or the pop shield just hasn't been able to control the air that comes out of your mouth when you pronounce the letter P. Um, so what I did is use this multi-band compressor. Um, by the way, all of these plugins are stock Logic plugins, so you can find this in, in Logic, I believe, unless I've had a massive balls up. Um, but this is called the multi-presser. And so we have two bands here, one, two, well, four bands technically, but um, the ones that we're focusing on is one and two. They say Prada put five racks in his grill He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill She looked at my wrist and then the ice it gave her chills Me and bro went Harvey and we spent a couple bills 
So what that's doing is every time there's a particularly um, a particular kind of word or sentence that's in that's prominent in these these frequencies, the compressor is kicking in. Um, so one is a really low one. So that is from 20k to 64k, and we've even done a bit of gain reduction there, um, and also from 60 to 430. And you can see the compressor working when there's B's and P's and anything like that, the compressor is, is, is kicking in. They said Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit. We don't need that rumble. We don't need, we're not doing drill either where we want the vocal to sound all, all, all depressing and dark. Um, you know, the run man down vocals where it sounds like man's just going to run you down. We're trying to get a little vibe going. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're paying a lot more attention to the higher frequencies rather than the lower frequencies in a vocal. Uh, but of course, we don't want to go too mad with the high frequencies either. That's why that was kicking in a little bit from this 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 430 to 3K. Um, it was just kicking in a little bit. Nothing crazy though, um, as I always say. We've got our first compressor here, which is the Vintage Fet. Um, I believe... I believe this is modeled after the blue face. I, I, I think in my last video, I just I spoke a little bit more about all of these compressors and what they're modeled after. Um, but I felt like this was the best one for this vocal. It was quite bright. Um, and what we're doing on it. They say Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill. She looked at my wrist and then the ice it gave her chills. So you can just hit it, the vocal just comes to life and jumps out at you. Um, so we're doing between five and ten, so probably around eight, seven, eight uh, decibels of reduction. So four to one ratio. The, the attack and release are pretty pretty fast, to be fair. Uh, we've got a DSR. Man, if you could have seen my last video, you'd see how I was trying to navigate this DSR here. I don't know what the hell is going on here. If I'm honest with you, this is why I use the Waves DSR because there's one, there's basically two controls. You find the frequency and you you compress it. Whereas this has got a detector, whatever the hell that means, a suppressor. So it's probably not that difficult to figure out, and you guys probably already know it. If you use Logic, you probably know how to use this DSR. But I ain't trying to get too deep into it. Um, these are my settings. <laughs> For this particular vocal, um, we've got another compressor. They say Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill. She looked at my wrist and then. So we're doing around yeah around minus three decibels of reduction here. It's only a two to one ratio, um, so we're not doing anything crazy. We're just kind of kissing it a little bit. Um, Got another EQ here. And this one is where all of those frequencies, those, those undesirable frequencies from before, although we did clean them up at the beginning, because we're slapping so many compressors on there, um, compressors bring out all of those tones more. That's what basically what compressors do. They make all of the, the quiet stuff all the quiet stuff louder and all the louder stuff quiet and bring it to one level. Um, so what you'll find is those kind of frequencies and tones, they get brought out when you start putting compressors on there. So that's why we're doing more cuts at 200, well, 240 hertz. Um, we did another cut here at 100 hertz and so on and so on. They say Prada put five racks in his grill. He thought he could rap, but I said this shit takes skill. She looked at my wrist and then the ice it gave her chills. Me and bro went Harvey and we spent a If you've watched any of my videos before, yo, this is the same stuff. Every if if you've been watching from the beginning, you'll start to notice patterns. I do the same thing. No matter what the vocal is, no matter what DAW I use, I, I usually have the same kind of um ideas in my head. You know, I have a few compressors, I have a few reverbs. Um, so if, you, if you're watching and you're paying attention, you should be able to use this stuff that I'm teaching you and showing you on anything. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm using two reverbs. The first reverb is to give our vocal a little bit of depth and a little bit of brightness. Um, and it is 
this one here a very small reverb so if i mute this if i mute the beat bills spent a couple racks gotta secure the bag gotta buy my mom a crib like barely no it's, it's noticeable without the beat but with the beat it's barely noticeable but you feel it um if i turn it off you 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 notice it's missing and that that's what I'm trying to get with that first reverb every single time. We're just trying to put the vocal in a room, get it sounding nice and bright, get it sounding, give it a little bit of depth, and then we can move on to a second reverb if we want the big ambience. Bills, spent a couple racks, gotta secure the bag, gotta buy my mama crib, gotta buy my Which is this space uh, designer. Vocal plate preset, I think it's... Um, yeah, it's in the large spaces. No, I didn't do anything. I did do a little bit of EQ afterwards, to be fair. That's what it looks like. So if you want, I can mute this beat so you can... Bills, spent a couple racks. Gotta secure the bag. Gotta buy my mom a crib. Gotta buy my bitch a bag. Might just cop a whip. Might go earn a plaque. Might just run it back. I wanna make a meal, that's facts. Yeah, go. Bills, spent a couple racks Gotta secure the bag Gotta buy my mom a crib Gotta buy my bitch a bag So then we've got a delay as well And as you can see, I don't know if you've noticed But I've got a quarter note delay time coming out of the left speaker And then a quarter note triplet coming out of the right And that's just to make it deviate a little bit um, And make it so the it, there's different information going on in your left and right ear and that just makes it a little bit more interesting and it makes it sound wider um it's no different really and truly if they were the same in terms of wideness but you know it's just making it tricking your brain into thinking it's wider because there's different information going on on your left and right and you oh i just hit the mic and you can barely you can barely notice it again unless you're really really listening out for it or if you're wearing headphones and that's that's what we're looking out for mainly the headphone users because 90% of people are probably going to be listening to the music on their headphones on their commute wherever 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 nine times out of ten people listen to music in headphones so this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting we've got a flanger here um these are my settings we're only doing a mix of seven percent so we're not doing anything crazy bills spent a couple racks gotta secure the bag gotta buy my mama crib Gotta buy my bitch a bag Might just cop a whip Might go earn a plaque Might just run it back I wanna make a meal, that's facts I wanna make a meal, that's facts They were all fake, that shit was an act They love me now, please don't do that So that just gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of width um, The ensemble and flange are working together there We've got a 6% mix here and a 7% mix here so subtle stuff again subtle stuff but um makes a big difference in the grand scheme of things um it helps you get your vocal sound a little bit um a little bit more interesting but as i said a, um adds a little bit of width as well without you losing the focus of the vocal and and, and losing the the punch of the vocal um due to phase issues or whatever um we've got another compressor here of Bills, spent a couple racks, gotta secure the bag, gotta buy my mom a crib, gotta buy my bitch a bag, might just cop a whip, might go earn a plaque, might just run it back, I wanna make a meal, that's facts. And I think you can agree that just that is the icing on the cake right there. It just brings the vocal to life a little bit more. Um it sounded good before, but once it hit that 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 compressor there, it's just a different beast. And then we've got the bit crusher. Bills, spent a couple racks, gotta secure the bag, gotta buy my mom a crib, gotta buy my bitch a bag, might just cop a whip, might go earn a plaque, might just run it back, I wanna make a meal, that's facts. And that's everything, that is your UK wave vocal chain right there. So just to, to go over it again, we've got the pitch corrector, pitch correction, got an EQ, Thing on man, uh, the multi band compressor, get rid of those plosives. Um, got our first compressor, got a DSR, got our second compressor, 
got an EQ, flanger, ensemble, a final compressor, and then a bit crusher. It's nothing that you haven't seen on this channel before. Maybe I usually start with a compressor, but it really just depends how I'm feeling or how the vocal's sounding to me. The first thing that jumped out at me about this vocal is that I needed to clean it up. So that's the first thing I did with my EQ. Um, but you'll always see me using compressors. You know, I have my compressor that's working the hardest, that's doing like minus 10 decibels of compression. Then I have a leveling compressor, and then I'll just have that final compressor to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of flavor, a little bit of sauce. So it's, it's really nothing you haven't seen here on this channel before. I know you guys are still going to ask me for a template, and I'm still going to ignore your <laughs> your ask for a template. Um, not here to to send shots for anyone, but I just don't think that it's helpful. Um, if I've got a vocal, for example, this one here, um, it's different to the a vocal that I record in my studio. So it's a different setup every single time, especially with EQ. How can how can it possibly be a thing where this EQ here is going to work with your vocals? It's it's impossible. It's not been recorded the same. Do you know what I'm saying? If you if you recorded something in a well treated vocal booth, it's going to need different EQing and processing than if you record something in your kitchen. That's just how it goes. That's how it works. But let me round off this video by saying thank you for everyone that continues watching and showed me a great 2020, to be honest. You guys have have, have been sick. Um, you've been saying lots of nice things in the comment section. You've been hitting me up on Instagram. Um, and that's what keeps me making these videos. I love helping you guys. Um, so if you have any questions, please, please, please don't hesitate to ask me. Anyone can tell you that has hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I am happy to help, trust me. Um, I want to keep making these videos as well, so keep sending in some ideas of what you want to see me do next. Um, please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Um, of course, leave a like if you liked, enjoyed the video, and share it if you fancy it. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace.